Hello everyone, I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. So, yeah, chill out, Balto. Just lay down and relax, and don't crap on the floor anymore, okay? There's a perfectly good litter box. It's clean. You know where it is. Right, good news. I, I actually did a over an hour long stream recording with the what was it, belt and uh, tadpole and warframe. Bad news. It, it only kept 26 minutes out of the hour plus that I recorded. Great. There's that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. There's so many variables to what could possibly be happening, but it's just it's a total mind fuck to go and think about it. It only seems to happen when I'm telling them how to improve their game. It only seems to happen at those points where it just gets cut off. So if if it's some sort of censorship thing, it's well, it's good, in a way, that, uh, yeah, I don't need to bitch about things after I've already bitched about them before. I'll just drive you guys, the viewers, away. Honestly, don't see how it would be a bad thing. <laughs> Maybe I need some censorship. Maybe someone in the Illuminati is like, okay, if we're going to help him, we have to stop this bullshit that he's doing because it's just going to hurt him in the long run, so we just got to cut that out right there. Maybe. I have no fucking clue. All I know is that two hours went poof a few days ago, and over 30 minutes went poof just a few minutes ago. You know, given that the Illuminati control the, the entertainment industry, and video gaming is just a branch of that industry, it makes sense that they would censor me to send a message. Stop saying dumb shit that's just going to hurt you, you know? Well, that's kind of their job. Well, it, it's a small part of their job, but it, it's still a part of their job. Their job is to help people. To help whole civilizations and whole planets worth of people. Whether you want to believe that or not, just take it as is if you like. Leave whatever you want. I'm not going to stop you. You've got the right to believe whatever you want. And if you try and go and shove your belief on me and make me believe what you believe, then we get into some issues. It's morally wrong and it's illegal. It's pathetic that they have to make laws against things so infinitesimally st stupid. Hey, don't crap on me, alright? What are you getting into out there that's messed you up so much? You know, I asked Jan to teach you about stuff out there, to take care of you, but did, did she not do anything? She's been living out there longer than you have. Did she not teach you to not eat certain things? Did, did she not teach you? what's dangerous and, and what's helpful. She knows more about it than I do, Balto. Did she not teach you? So, I'm, I'm highly suspicious that they're censoring this stuff because I just don't need to bitch about it. Makes a lot of sense. Now, I don't know if it's them or if it's someone else that I know, but for fuck's sake... 
Mm, I would say just talk to me about it, but they already have. Several people have. They've told me, stop being such a bitch. So now whoever it is is down to taking action. <laughs> Really sucks to be hard headed, doesn't it? Really sucks not to listen to people talking to you and telling you what's best for you, doesn't it? Several different groups of people, not just the Illuminati, not just um, uh, fucking secret societies that have sent messages not just all them it's, it's other people friends and family even they've all said stop doing dumb shit yeah I have been doing dumb shit Did my dumb shit rub up on you? Hmm. Did my stupidity and idiocracy rub off on you? I hope not. Right, okay, I've, I've got all these Warframe uploads scheduled for a week apart, basically. Honestly, I, I want to... I want to stop scheduling them for so far out and just upload them as soon as I finish recording. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll switch to doing that. I mean, there's a benefit to scheduling uploads. Yes, I know you're there. I know you want attention. Right now, my mind is all fucking scrambled. <clears throat> I'm dealing with so much stuff mentally. And I'm hearing about the, the government shutdown, however partial it may be, is threatening uh, food stamps and disability and I'm, I'm sitting here with no other source of income just completely fucked over if that happens that's some stress I don't need no one needs that stress no one needs the stress of worrying about money when it's it's a complete load of rubbish, garbage. It's not training people to manage their resources. Because, just take a look around you. No one's learning anything from money. I mean, you might learn greed and hoarding, but that's it. Man, there's a lot. There's, there's just a lot on my mind. I just want all the bullshit going on to stop. And, and I've learned. If you come out openly and honestly and say the truth, there's a bunch of people who have got it into their minds so deeply that everyone else around them is lying that they're not going to believe it. And then there's people who've been lied to so much that they're just, they're bankrupt. They're emotionally bankrupt and they can't invest in believing in anything because they've been lied to so much and they've seen all these lies before. much as I'd like to help all of humanity, it is almost impossible. Fuck, I can't even help myself right now. 
<clears throat> I'm in a fucked up situation and so is everyone else. And that's how my day went today. And Balto was outside most of the day. It gets difficult to put effort into doing YouTube videos and staying positive. It gets really difficult. Because I can't afford to pay for more advertising on Google's advertisement thing that they're using. And last channel, I went and promoted myself in the comment section of other people's videos. And they were like, oh no, we don't want you to do that. So they just deleted my channel. I learned something from it, but at the same time, it's just too much stress. Hey, do you mind getting out of my lap for a moment? I'm not in a position to help anyone right now. That's pathetic. As much as I'd like to. As much as I'd like to tell the people in charge, dude, all this money stuff, uh, all this problems, all this stress, we got to get rid of it. As much as I'd like to tell everybody, we got to work together. We're we're a fucking society, right? We're we're a civilization, or at least a lot of you claim that. So why why are we why why the fuck are all of you? Why are we at each other's throats? Well, why? Just it doesn't make any fucking sense. Actually, it makes perfect sense. Overpopulation. Increase in aggressive tendencies in males. Decrease in sex drive in women. It, it, it's all part of the overpopulation self-balancing thing. Nature itself seeks balance. And right now, humanity is unbalanced proportionately with the planet it lives on. And these wild pipe dreams of going into space and colonizing other worlds, that is something you need to let go. That is not gonna happen. You can't even you can't even balance yourselves with the planet you're on. What makes you think that going to another one is gonna make anything better? It's not. You're gonna carry the same stupid fucking problems because you haven't solved them, you haven't fixed them, you haven't reached a conclusion and a resolution. You haven't fixed anything. You're just carrying your problems somewhere else. It's a fucking maniacal pipe dream to think, let's go colonize another world. That'll solve all our problems. No, it won't. You'll just carry your problems with you. You need to fix your problems here. You need to fix the imbalance here. And in here. And up here. After that, okay, fine. Let's let's go and visit other planets and shit. But first, you got to start at home. You got to fix yourself before you go out and do other things. And it says so in your oh so precious Bible. You no, know, the parable of the brother and the well, the speck of dust in one eye, and and the dude having a fucking tree branch stuck in his eye, trying to pluck a speck of dust out of his brother's eye. You got to fix yourself before you can go and fix other things.
Yeah, I know. I gotta fix myself, too. Don't preach to me about it. I've got all kinds of fucking problems. difficult to stay focused. It really is for me. I need to I need to get better food to keep my body properly nourished. And I can't do that living on disability and food stamps at the bare fucking minimum that that's willing to be given to me. I come down to this more and more often every day because shit's getting worse. It's not getting better. If anybody thinks it's getting better, they're they're ignoring the truth. Living in a little bubble. What have we learned about bubbles? They all pop. Some violently, some quietly. But this this social and mental bubble everyone's wanting to live in. Fuck off, train! That's gonna pop violently. Because none of the social problems in human history have been fixed. Someone slapped a band-aid over them. I mean, Let's take a look at some problems. People having anxiety issues go to a therapist and get medication instead of talking their problems out, getting it out in the open, analyzing it, and finding a solution, whether it's with their family, their friends, or by themselves. The medication doesn't do shit for you. All it is is a band-aid. And it's the psychological and emotional equivalent of putting a band-aid over a fucking bullet wound. You need to pull the fucking bullet out and fix the fucking problem so you can heal. Not slap a band-aid over it. It's real difficult to do that with all this stress. I know. All of you. You're dealing with stress, and you've got all this shit coming at you. No matter where you are or who you are, you've all got problems, you've all got stress. And it doesn't help to hold it in and bottle it up. But it's helping me calm down just talking it out right now. So there we are. I'd like to pull a reference from a movie. Gandalf said he believes it's the small things that combat evil. Small acts of kindness. Well, here's mine. How was your day today? Did anything interesting happen? Did anything stressful happen? Let it all out in the comments, man. Guy, girl, thingy, whatever. Let it all out. Maybe it'll help you to let it out, maybe it won't. But it's my attempt at some small kindness to help with the massive problems. I hope it helps. That's the best I can do right now. I don't have thousands of dollars to go and put into a charity organization like Mark or Jack or Pewts did. All I've got is myself.
So, how was your day? I hope it helps to let it out. Really do. And if your day was nice, I hope it helps someone to hear that someone else is doing nice and I hope it gives them some hope that things can get better. I really do. So right now, I'm all mixed up. I'm, all, I'm fucked up. I can't really think straight anymore. It's all the stress. It really tears you apart. Dude, I need you to move. Come on. Nope, not gonna move. Hey, if Balto could communicate with the words we use, maybe he'd tell you about how his day was. Maybe. Don't know. <laughs> it, feels, it feels a bit better to let all that out and just let it go. Hopefully, it'll help you feel better to let it all out. So go ahead, let it all out. Like or dislike. Bash out a comment, or type out a comment. Let everyone know if, if your day was stressful or if it was good. Just let everyone know how your day went. Maybe this will spark some sort of chain reaction, and it'll help ease all the stress globally so that everyone can back off from all the, the political nonsense and re-realize that we're all people, we're all on this planet together, we all need to work together. Maybe. I hope so. Hey, yes. Crawling all across me, you are. Till next time, everyone. Bye.